That thing sounds insane, man. Yeah, it sounds really good. It's freaking loud. Watch out for those cops up here. <laughs> that sounds mental, dude. <laughs> oh, this sucks. BMW down. Yeah, someone um, someone screwed up. Somebody was going to the mall a little heavy. Oh, R.I.P. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today is a feature film video on my friend Matt's beautiful PSM Dynamics wide body M2. Now this M2 is not your ordinary M2. It has about 500 horsepower. It's pushing an MHD tune custom map and it absolutely screams. All right, so you guys may know Matt. He is M2 Ghost on Instagram. Matt and I have known each other for a very long time here in Charlotte. Fun fact, the first car show that I went to here in Charlotte with my F30, Matt was at it with his M2. And it's like a unicorn. I was completely blown away when I saw the car because obviously this M2 is not your, your everyday ordinary M2. It has a lot done to it. Matt, welcome to the channel. Thanks for having me. All right, so Matt, tell me a little bit about the exterior of the car, the M2, because it's, it's obviously not stock. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit aftermarket. So the wide body, uh, that's from PSM Dynamic. Mm -hmm. um, and then going down, the headlights are from OSS Designs. Okay. I got some goodies from IND Distribution, the grills right there. Continuing down, that's actually still part of the PSM Dynamic kit. And okay. then that lip is PSM underneath that is an APR splitter. So and you have like, what is it? One, two, <laughs> three, 10 carbon fiber pieces on the front of the car. Yeah. I wish the whole bumper was carbon, but maybe in another life. <laughs> you can never have too much carbon fiber. It's a fact, right? It is. It's one of my favorite uh, favorite elements for sure. It looks so clean. Like you have so much done to it, but it looks like it could have been a, like a factory OEM plus BMW car that they were actually racing on tracks. That was sort of my my goal. Um, it sounds silly, but originally my inspiration for this car was a mix between the old E46 CSL and then the concept M2 CSL that they never released. Um, yeah. They had it in Gran Turismo. It was called the Vision Gran Turismo BMW. I think there's a body kit now that's out that's like that, but it just had that nice, simple white, black accents and I kind of went from there, tried to not overdo it. Some people would say I have, but I think I'm on the edge there. Uh. <laughs> Matt also, he doesn't just take this car to car shows like SEMA, for example. He was, this car was actually at SEMA, which is so cool. But he also drives this car. It's not just a garage clean. He tracks this thing. You, how many times have you been to the track? In this car, just once. Okay. Uh, we went to the Roval and okay. it was amazing. Um, that's a little scary because they have the concrete walls and you're up on the banks <laughs> and we saw a Mark IV Supra total in no. like the first five minutes, yeah. Oh my so God. So that was a little scary. Set the a, tone for the day, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> it was the first time we were going out. It hailed right beforehand too, oh, so wow. there was a little moisture on the track. So this is PSM Dynamics, a full wide body on this car. Yep. And is the whole thing carbon fiber? It is, yeah. Jeez, it's all wow. carbon. The fenders in the front, for instance, have, they're hollow. Okay. So they're seamed together from multiple pieces. So, so, it's, the, so it's insanely light. Yeah, it is very, very light. Um, it's nice because you cut off some of the metal, so I know the kit's more mass to the car, but I mm -hmm. still think it kind of evens itself out. In the track, I was amazed. Uh, it, it stayed so flat. I, I kind of had in the back of my head, what if something sort of comes loose or flies off? Nothing, it was all tight. Um, when I had the lip and the splitter on there, it felt so much more planted mm -hmm. versus there was a time I had it off and I was getting repairs, and all of a sudden the car doesn't feel the same. So they, I, I don't think they were able to wind test it when they were developing it, but yeah. I wish I wish I could because they did a great job. Like everything just flows so well. It, it looks 
completely seamless. Like, did they, so did they rivet then mold? They basically, they cut out the fender so it, it looks almost like an SUV. Mm -hmm. Like, just huge, huge U shape. Right, right, right. They, and there's three layers to each fender, so they have to go in and cut the layers of metal in the inside of the inner fender. Okay. And then they drill holes and the carbon's built with the threads inside of it. So basically they bolt from behind, snug everything up tight, and they use double-sided tape as a cushion. And I've seen some people use panel bond, some people try to mold it in, but I like the line, but not having the rivets makes it seem a little bit less intrusive, I guess you'd say. And I really like the idea of being able to remove them, because when I work on suspension, when I take any of those things, it, oh, if it was molded, nice. it would be a nightmare yeah, for me. Yeah, no, no. The workability of having um, n having it not molded and you being able to actually get in there and not fight, you know, the size yeah. of a wide body when you're... That's, yeah, that's I crucial. Think that's the one thing that keeps it from being more show than go. Uh, if I had it molded, I'd be really nervous to have yeah. something happen. Well, it's a bit more functional, I think, with the way that you have it set up. It's fun. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm happy it all worked the way I was hoping. This kit looks absolutely incredible on this car. I like um, it. It's I, stunning. I, I lucked out because I was their first customer. Yeah. So they already had the mold made, they already had oh, everything okay. done. And okay. I ordered it before I had the car delivered. Mm -hmm. So putting the kit So together, you knew, like you knew what you were going into the moment you bought the car. Yeah, <laughs> it was. I was waiting, I was sending parts to PSM. It was kind of a nice thing having the months, like three to four months during build time. So the, the headlights are in fact OSS designs. What, like, what do they call this style of headlight? Uh, that is, Technically, it's a prototype. They were um, calling them the X beams, oh, okay. but I didn't want the full X. I wanted the the little X that goes on the inside, and yours is a little bit different. It's like a yeah. half X, I guess you'd say. That's so cool. it's like the top of the X versus the. You, I'm sure you can get just the bottom, or you. Could and then have, you had the switchbacks and the carbon fiber up top. Yeah, I went kind of nuts with the headlights. The, uh, the guys that I worked with out there, Lewis, the owner, he's he's just such a nice, personable guy. He's an artist. Mm -hmm. um, my first M2 that I had, he built lights for that, and I was the most expensive part I had on that car. Carbon fiber side skirts. Now, does that, is that part of the kit or how does that work? That's part of the PSM kit. The top one hugs part of the car's side skirt and then the bottom one just extends out. But I want to get a little APR, like flat side skirt, just side to sort of kind of square it off a little bit. So on the back you have a, I think it's like a CSL style trunk, right? Full carbon, but it is painted with uh, some mask off, right. right? So like the top of the actual CSL, is it made, who makes that trunk? Agency power. Agency power, so it's a CSL style, a lot like you would see on like an E46 with the duck bill, but he has the top masked off and then the behind the license plate, right? Which is actually kind of similar to how I had it on the F30 and I, I stole that idea from him. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I 100% stole that idea from you because I saw it in your car and it looks sick and yeah, well. I got it from the CSL. 46. Uh, yep. Artists. It looks, I mean, it looks incredible on this car. It actually fits this wide body and the body style really, really well. Tell me a little bit about the, the wheel setup that you have on here. Let's see. The, uh, the BBSs are, they're sort of one-offs because they're a combination of the E88s and the RT88s. Mm -hmm. um, the barrels themselves, they had to ship over from Germany to get wide enough to have that offset. Hello. Last time with the BMW. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're cool. No problem. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, no worries. Right, Thanks, guys. man. I really appreciate it. All right, man. Thanks so much. It. Thank y'all. No problem. We got in with security. This is great. Where were we? BBSs. So tell me a little bit about the BBSs. Tell me what style they are. And obviously, yours are a little bit different than uh, normal BBSs because they're custom. So they're basically RT88s, um, except they had to use the E88 drums. Uh, E88s don't have lugs they use center mounts but the the barrels themselves to get that weird and extra wide offset uh they ship them over from germany the fact that the lip is gloss black makes them yes. really really yes like just nice because everyone has the polished but you have the black yes. and it looks i mean the black just looks oh my god it just sets these wheels off so they're so keep, well uh, easy to keep clean oh yeah i'm sure they aren't clean right now but. <laughs> So what, what is the size of the wheels and um, I guess your tire setup and everything, like just just go through the actual size of the wheels and then like the size of your tires. So tires are Toyo R888R proxies. Uh, they are 265 30s in the front, 325 30s in the back. Um, 
back wheel is 12 and a half by 19 and the front are 10 and a half by 19. So it was a bit of a stagger, um, but the- It's just a, just a little bit. <laughs> Why don't you tell us what, what suspension you're running on this car? Because like I said before, you do track it a little bit, but there's a little, little more than just coilovers on this. So it's, uh, I got the KW Club Sports um, and as much adjustables as I could underneath from fall line. It has the KW Club Sports with the camera plates on top, but we wanted to have the ability to not destroy the front end without having to go and get into the car every time and take the wheels off and adjust them. So I found out about it, it was while the car was being built out in California, they had a new thing called air cups and they're basically little donut cups that sit over top of the spring and the actual uh, inside of the strut, but below the camera plate. So if you need to lift the front of the car up, you can, uh, just inflates with air with a compressor on off switch but it doesn't affect the spring rate or affect any of the travel because it's separated from that. And it's the only reason I can drive it around as a daily. Um, it's like having the adjustability of air, but the ride quality of coilovers. So you can track the car, but it's functional in the street, on city streets, whatever, because you can just lift that front up a little bit like a Lamborghini. Yep, five, five, I think that's where they got the idea. It's like got to be. Man. It's got to be. It's, uh, it's so simple. There's no management, so it's just an on-off uh, with four solenoids, and oh. um, you basically have the compressor in the tank. You can put those where you want. I have mine underneath the rear seat delete to try and oh, like, okay. save some weight. Yeah. And it's five seconds up and down, and it's just it's lines so, in and out. It's dude, really simple. So convenient. So no, you don't have to worry about you know, having air ride with a module and a monitor and everything that's yep. gonna keep it even. This is just in case you need it, emergency up and down. I love that. So tell me a little bit about what you have going on on the interior of your car. First, I did the rear seat delete, try to shave some weight. Then I switched out the front seats to some Recaro Sportster CSs. They're really comfortable. Uh, there's a guy AMX Performance is his uh, Instagram handle. It used to be um, Ricardo Max, but he basically takes the shells, any kind of embroidery pattern you want, he just makes it happen. And, and he, he put that ghost in there for you. Yeah, he, I asked if he could do that, and he so put cool. that on there. He drives an M2, so he, and he's a bigger guy, so he, he told me he has the bigger seats with the lower bracket and the lower rails, so it sits about three to four inches lower than the normal ones, and it's their comfy. Which really is, like you, ha them. you have that because yeah. you're so just, tall. Just a little bit more. BMW has, it's a car called the, the M235IR. It's their customer race car. And you can actually get the part numbers and order parts from that. The interior is all carbon fiber. I just wanted to get the doors, try to shave some more weight. So I got those. <laughs> those and, are so sick. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I love the doors. They were so really, cool. really cool how the yeah. BMW just sells that part. Here, tell me a little bit about the engine because you have a lot this is the n55 right so uh the n55 they put in these m2s is a little bit more stout they call it the n55b um it's got a little bit beefier internals uh but it allows you to get a little more power out of it it's got the upgraded dynan turbo which is very similar to the pure it's 30 percent more flow so they take the stock turbo pour out the compressor housing and then make a bigger impeller wheel because they're basically close to maxed out uh, from the factory. But then with an M55 motor, you run out of fuel. Uh, the, there's just not enough fuel pressure to really get it much more than where most people have them. Sure. The JBs are getting around 400 horsepower and that's pretty close to where you you know, you know stop with them. Same for 135, right. things like that. But um, the high pressure fuel pump makes a huge difference. Full performance is the one that made this uh, it's, it was one of their beta tests back in March, um, and we just got it installed, tuned, and dialed in. So it it's 50% more flow than factory, 150% is what they say. But that allows you to get the boost and the power up top. You don't have like the spike and then sort of the right. taper. It right. keeps pulling up all the way to 7,000. You have an Eventuri intake, right? Yep, Eventuri intake. Full carbon intake. Yeah, the V2, which is really nice. It uses a little scoop that goes in through the front grill and then yeah, feeds uh, inside nice. to keep the air cool. And it's it. really clean looking too. Yeah. And what's your what's your flow setup, the exhaust setup? I know you have a Dynan 
so back end. Yep, uh, so the intercooler, dual core, dining intercooler, uh, the charge pipes coming down are actually BSRF, okay. and then the down pipe is from Fab Speed. It's a catalyst down pipe. Right. Then Dynan, uh, they make a, it's called a resonator to delete pipe, yep. but it basically is an entire section connecting from the down pipe to the mufflers, and then it's a Dynan muffler system, so it's kind of a Frankenstein. <laughs> it is, uh, but that, it sounds great, man. I like I it. mean, that's the great part about building exhausts like that, is no one's gonna have the same sound as you do. Uh, you're MHD tuned, right? Yeah, the um, wedge is tuning, wedge performance is tuning through the MHD interface, and it lets you, I guess, add the verbal option. I've never, never tried that before, so I uh, it, it sounds on. good. <laughs> it sounds really good. <laughs> We got the GoPro on the head. We got the camera in the car. Let's go for a ride this thing. This thing sounds so good. It's like a little go-kart. horsepower does this car have? I, I, I have to get a dyno window for sure, but I'm guessing around 500. Yeah. Like a little under 500 wheels. It, it feels like 500. It's, that was dude, it goal. puts you back. Like this that, thing slams you. Said, uh, I think it's so light. That, this yeah, car is so, you can yeah. feel, you can feel how light it is. It's funny because you think you take away a little bit of weight, it's not going to do anything, but if you just keep thinking and keep taking away yeah. a little bit of weight, all of a sudden you can feel a difference. You can feel a massive difference and you, you've you done so many like little intricate things to, to reduce that weight. I tried to. Yeah. yeah, like just the door, like the door sill, you know, the door inside of the doors and like all that little kind of stuff adds up over time. Feels good, it sounds good. Great, this car Feels like a race car. All right, you guys, that is gonna wrap up today's feature film with Mr. Matt, M2 Ghost. Make sure you guys go follow him on Instagram. Huge thank you to him for taking the time out on a Sunday to let me film his car and just make this feature film on his car. It's such an extraordinary build, such a good person. He's been a long time friend of mine, and I've really wanted to feature his car for quite a while now, so I'm glad we had the time to actually make it happen. Matt, thank you. I appreciate having you on the channel, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, hit that bell notification, and just like that, this video is over, and we are out. Peace.